So it's the summertime or springtime and it's like 86 degrees today. So a few things you wanna do is just make sure you're hydrated. Me, it's what, four o'clock now. Haven't had a meal yet. So I went ahead and got some food, got some nachos, eating on the road as I drive an hour to my next call in Auburn, uh, Georgia. I got a little podcast going on, so. I'm on the road, I'll see y'all when I get to the next call. Made it. So the system's not cooling. Let me go get my tools. And uh, is it blowing in the air? I don't know. When I got home, she had it turned off because it was frozen. Oh, it was frozen. Um, it pulled out. The, That's not good. We had um, filters in there. Yeah. So they changed the filter when they turned it off. And the old filter was caked. It caked on? Yeah. So maybe that was it. Hopefully that was just There's it. no air flow through it. There's a new filter in there now, but we didn't turn it back on because we left the ice melt. Okay, so yeah, let me uh, get my some tools. Is the ice melted now? Yeah. Perfect. So yeah, we can troubleshoot and figure out what's going on. At least I ain't got a sweat. Sounds like just a filter. Let's go take a look. Oh yeah, as long as they're okay with me. So this is it. So you said the filter was uh pretty bad oh, I forgot my drill I got all that stuff and forgot my drill let me go get that hopefully it's just the the filter yeah the bottom half is still frozen <laughs> quite a bit of ice build up. It could be, it could have been the filter, but with the amount of ice, it, it might be pressures. So I'm gonna let this um, melt and then put the gauges on the outdoor unit. Is that way or not? Is it okay if I go ahead and hook up gauges? Oh, you got cute little dogs. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. 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 Calm down. I'm cool, I'm nice. Hello. Hi. Hey. Oh my god, you guys, come here, Zola. Come here, Zola. You want to put Nothing frozen out here. Coal's on here, nice and clean. Hey, be nice. All right, so we're at 102. We can't run this in heat mode. That'll melt the ice a lot quicker. Uh uh. Boom. Your chicken. Excuse me, guys. We know your chicken. Sorry. <laughs> it's all right. Come here. Oh, this one. It's very humid. Alright, we got the outdoor running. How often do you guys change the filter? It's been a while. Yeah, with pets and everything, I always recommend every 30 to 60 days. There's an outlet right here. It's behind the uh, behind the microwave. You have a lot of uh, biological growth in the coil just from all that excess water. I think you guys would really benefit. I know you have the pea trap here. I think you guys will also benefit from um, having a treatment in the in a drain pan that'll treat the this condensate line um, up to six months. It'll just keep it clear of any uh, blockages. It'll help break down this material. It's probably just because of the dirt that's uh, with the pets and everything. The stuff that's in the air, mixing with the water. This sludge, this material, that's just gonna cl clog up the drain line there. Actually, that's what's going on right now. You can see it building up in the drain pan. It's not even, it's not even going out. Golly, did they glue it? Yeah, your overflow switch is flooded. That's not good. Where does it drain out? Drains out here. 
Oh, so it's draining just a little bit. Uh, let me go ahead and unclog that. These are the pan strips I refer to. Um, they pre prevent sludge buildup and cleans the drain lines. Of course, I can do that today, but with the pets and everything, you know, if I'm not here, I don't know what's going on. This will help maintain a clean drain line when I'm not here. Crank it over the AC. All right, so now I'm gonna run it in AC. This is the tariff. You dropped in my driveway, mm -hmm. and I made that 90 degree turn, forgetting he had his truck there. So I have a big gap. So it, there is ice underneath it. Unfortunately. So I just took a picture underneath the coil. Yeah. If you look at the top, you see how you're able to see the aluminum there and how it's, you know, clean, the air is able to get through it. Mm -hmm. If you look underneath, we have a bunch of, of pet hair. This is our culprit. Because what, what's happening is the one inch filter, mm -hmm. we're having, you know, debris get past that. And now our evaporator coil is acting like a filter. And that's not good. We want our filter to collect all this pet hair and stuff like that. Um, I would recommend upgrading the filtration system. And then also in regards to the coil, we would come back and properly rejuvenate that coil there. All right, so we're wrapping this up. Just want to show you guys all that crap that was in the drain line. So long story short, um, we're going to come back Monday. No, Tuesday. He says Tuesday would be great. Um, and uh, finish up the work here. Anyway, I do appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you on the next one.